Oakville, I'm Katie Weaker. And I'm Jennifer Sella. It's Winter Spirit Week, and here's what's going on this week around OHS. Winter formal is not the most popular dance at Oakville, and Stuco is trying to fix that. Basically, we're just trying to improve Winter Formal from last year by trying to get more participation for Spirit Days. Winter Formal is fun, it's just I don't feel like a lot of people like to go because it's not homecoming or it's not prom or it's not junior ring. It's still something fun to do to go with your friends on the weekends and, you know, do something. Oakville needs more school spirit and Stuco thinks a little competition will help with that. So the King and Queen this year for Winter Formal, we are going to be doing Spirit Couple. And what that is, is that we're trying to get more people involved in Spirit Days. So we want to have every day somebody's going to have to, have to have two people, everybody's going to dress up, they're going to submit their pictures that they have of all their gear they're wearing for that specific theme, send it to Miss Dutcher, then at the assembly we're going to announce the top four people that got voted as the best spirited for those two days and then those four are going to get put final four and we're going to have voting probably that Friday and then they're going to be announced at the dance. Here are the spirit days for this week. Today is Hawaiian Day, Wednesday is Hippie Day, Thursday is Class Colors Day, and Friday is USA Day. As you may know, this is the 50 year anniversary of Oakville High School. It is also the 10 year anniversary of our broadcast journalism class. And did you know that our first line producer of Channel 97 News has built a career for himself in video production? Here's our story on Jason Metropolis. Jason came to me during his freshman year and said he was interested in being part of a school broadcast. It took about three years before we were finally able to get that interest going. And during his senior year, we decided to actually start a broadcast club. Having Kuchino as a mentor has been extremely valuable to me. Oakville has helped me in so many ways with starting my career and really growing. Um, number one, I would say, though, is learn how to tell stories. And now it's just like it's a lot more organized now because before it was three, two people all doing everything. And now it's like you guys have teams. And I got hired on as an advisor for the broadcast. I mean, I've been doing that since 2010. What I do is I own a video production company called Metrospec Media. Um, so we do all types of video production, um, but I would say 50% of our work is weddings. Um, and then I would say 30% is real estate, and the other like 20% is uh, corporate videos. I mean, we've doubled, I've doubled my business for the last three years in a row. Each year I've doubled our growth. Being able to capture special moments and stuff like that is awesome. Um, being able to see the world through a different light, um, using the camera to tell that story, is one of the greatest feelings out there. Be sure to check out some of Jason's work on MetrospecMedia.com. With Riley Heather and Olivia Lutker behind the camera, I'm Bethany Hagen for Around OHS. Hey Jenna, how well do you know your pop culture from the past decade? I think I know it pretty well. Well, let's check out other students' knowledge about pop culture from 2010s. What's up, Oakville? I'm Layla Suskick, and I'm going to be testing you on your knowledge of this past decade's pop culture. Why would I remember that? No. What grade was I in 2012? Dwight K. Shrew. Me. No, Harry Styles and some other, four other dudes. <laughs> Harry Styles. And I know, oh wait, is that one? Oh, Liam, right? Liam. And then you got uh, Abdul Jabbar. Bro, I'm buzzing. We don't do these things. Uh, Chief Keef. Uh, what's his name? Kodak Black. Record her so much she knows the dance. Frosty. Oh, wow. Oh, come on, Mr. Pika. What is it? Sven. Sven. We can it's hear Sven, them. apparently. Road work ahead? I sure hope it does. You could, I could have dropped my croissant. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> These biscuits? Ah! Vine is dead. Thanks for watching, Oakville. With Soma Vukovic and Liam Shaneberger behind the camera, I'm Lila Suskik for Around OHS. Speaking of the last decade, many of our sport teams have had plenty of success. That's right. Our 2011 boys volleyball team went undefeated and won a state championship. And there were other teams that competed for state titles. Chase, Davin, and Andrew, take us back. To kick off the 2010s, Oakville had some memorable sports moments. 
Oakville won their first football playoff game since 2014 this year. Let's look back at 2010 when they made it to the Final Four. Made the playoffs, got in the playoffs, and they won again. Um, then they, when they finally lost, um, those guys were those guys were most of those guys were juniors. So you talking about the guys, the group of guys that came back the next year, very very hungry, and that's why they went to the Final Four the next year. With the success of the team, it brought many players to new heights. So on that team, actually, we had. Um, like eight kids going to play college football from that team. However, winning today is not the same as it was. They kind of expected it. They expected to do well and expected to be there. And then it was, uh, it was just funny going through the season when every time we break the huddle at the end of, at the end of practice, when we break, they're, they're, the final word they always say after they break was state. Dang, I didn't make it. But let's take a look at the 2010 state semifinals. Late in the game, um, they were up uh, three on us. Uh, we called a timeout, and I called a play. And uh, our best player, Josh Noblet, said, just get me the ball, coach. I can make it. Garrett Reed dribbled the ball up the floor on his own, turned, handed the ball to Josh Noblet, and he hit about a 25-footer. Such an absurd shot. The boys got nervous going to the state championship game. So Coach Noblet, my assistant coach, and, and myself, we put on a Michael Jackson song, and we had everybody do their own uh, dance moves to the song. After the game, we were pretty uh, upset because we lost. But when we reflected back on the season, we had a great year. Throughout the decade, Oakville has been very dominant in softball. It was definitely very nice to finally win it that last year. But you know, keep going back to those years before, coming back with a little chip on my shoulder. Winning state did not come with ease. It was a huge accomplishment. I was very proud to represent Oakville, Coach Sturm, all of my teammates. With Chase Skaggs and Devin Smith behind the camera, I'm Andrew Rudd for Around OHS. So Katie, where do you see yourself in 10 years? 10 years? I don't know. Married, have a good job. Well, let's see where our students think they'll be in 2030. Where do you see yourself in 2030? 2030, uh, businessman. Oh. Where do you see yourself in 2030? Married with three kids. Any pets? No. Eight kids? Three kids. Eight, specifically. Eight, let's go. <laughs> where do you see yourself in 2030? The President of the United States. In 10 years, I'm probably going to be living in Calabasas, and I'm going to be an interior designer. You're going to be living in Okay! Yeah. On a beach. Oh, okay, nice. Pretty sounds pretty nice. I don't know. Owning a business or something? Hopefully at home. That's it? Maybe I'll go fishing. Uh, hopefully broken up with Nick Kessler. <laughs> MLB. Major League Baseball, everybody, stay tuned. Hag is going to be on the field. Number two on the field, number one in my heart. Probably in this exact spot. Any more kids? Oh, God, no. Oh, she said no kids. Dairy Queen. Ooh, 2030. I see myself retired. And? And somewhere on a beach. SoundCloud rapper. Hopefully my mom's still alive, so probably at her house. I'll be right here. Teaching. That's it? Enjoying life. Any more kids? I hate kids. Don't you have a daughter? You know, Oakville has a wide range of generations in the building. Yeah, there's boomers, millennials, Gen X, and Gen Z. So for our last segment, we decided to create a battle of the generations. We hope you enjoy this one. We asked two students and two teachers trivia questions to test their knowledge about previous decades. No cap, like no lie, like you're talking truth. All right, no false stuff. <gasps> oh, not lying. You can't capitalize. No. <laughs> you can't capitalize. Mulch. <laughs> 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 Chips. Yeah. Fleetwood. Oh, Who's no. That? No, no. Nick, no, not Nickelback. Oh, no. Is his name like Bob? Bob Saget? <laughs> oh, Bon Jovi. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> the Walton. 
I don't even know what that is. TikTok. TikTok. I feel like that's TikTok? Really? Do you know what it is? Uh, yeah, you use it to heat something up. <laughs> like a pilot, like a fire pilot, you know what I mean? Like fire. It's a phone. It's a phone. Do a calendar to make a schedule, things of that sort, yeah. <laughs> Talking that's about some, the drama. That's some ish. Some gossip. Oh, gossip. Making a mess. No! <laughs> You're gossiping! What's the tea, sis? Congrats to our winners, Mrs. Nitz and Mr. Ebert. With Kaylin Hickman and Ava Helmsum behind the camera, I'm Kaylee Kelton for Around OHS. Well, that wraps up today's show. We hope you join us for Channel 97 News on January 31st. Have a great day, Oakville, and remember, stay, stay gold. gold. Oh, help me with my career. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were in here. I'm leaving. Be professionals. <laughs> so, Katie, where do you see yourself in 2030? It's, isn't it? Say 10 years first and then say 2030. Yeah, you're right. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here we go. I'm singing about 2030. <laughs> it's okay. Do you have TikTok? I don't have Tic Tac Toe either. I don't have either one. <laughs> Like that. Is that can it? Do that <laughs> <laughs> I can do a jazz square. That's all I can do.